Welcome everyone, this is Zon with Repro Products. Today's video is on Bluebeam Review 2018 and how to link an Excel file to your PDF file. Here I have on my screen Bluebeam Review 2018 on the right hand side with a PDF file open. On my left hand side I have the Excel file open. I have in the Excel file areas where it states total volume of slab and total volume of footing and these values are being automatically generated. For example, if you take a look at the value for total volume of footings, it says 894 cubic feet right now. If I go over to my PDF file and I zoom in to this area, I can select this particular footing measurement that I created, hold the control key down, left click and drag, and create a copy of that markup and place it where I need. You'll notice that once I do that, my square footage count has changed. It went up to 918. So if I take that particular markup back in the PDF file again, select it, adjust it to where I need to place it. I can also um, take it and control click again and place another one right here. And you'll see the value updates as well. So for the purposes of this particular one, let's just select that markup, pan a little bit, select the markup, and we will rotate it 90 degrees. Like so. And just that way we can just place it nicely. And you can use, by the way, the arrow keys to nudge the markup or measurement exactly where you want. The closer you are to the image, the closer and tighter the nudging is going to be. So how is this working? How is this linking happening? Let's look at this Excel file. I'm going to expand Excel. And if I select that particular cell and I right click, you'll see in Bluebeam Review CAD and Extreme, you'll have Quantity Link has been installed as part of the add-ins for Bluebeam Review for Excel. You can click Quantity Link and you can see we have Edit, Delete, Source Files, Manage, link, uh, Links Connected, and Preferences. So let's start with Preferences. You'll see it's, it applies a specific color that you want. It includes units or markup quantities if you need to as well. If I right click and go back to quantity links and choose source file, this is where it tells the, the Excel file what PDF file am I looking at. So you can add this file or as many files as you need to extract different types of data from the PDF file. If we right click, go back to quantity Excel link, quantity link and click edit or manage, I'll click edit in this case, you'll see the edit link dialog box opens up and this particular cell we're telling it to look for the total volume for any measurement markup whose label is called footing. Also, if we select a different one, say total volume of slab and go to its properties under edit, you'll see it says volume and the label it's looking for is concrete slab. And then lastly, uh, for this one where we're saying uh, 3500 PSI. If we look at this cell and go to its quantity link and look at its properties, it's looking for a total volume of footing where the concrete strength is PSI and you can specify 2500 PSI. See that? So when you have all of that set up, it's the Excel cells are going to extract that data out from the PDF file that's over here. Now, if you looked very carefully, it had to do with labeling. So if I select a particular markup like this one and go to its properties, you'll see here it says subject is footing and the label is footing. So it needs this information to pull that data out. If we select this bigger markup area here, which is for the slab, you'll see the subject is slab and the label is concrete slab. So the Excel linking 
what it's doing is it's pulling this information out so that it can find that data and then it's linking it and looking for that area and all of that information to be used for calculation purposes here in the Excel file. And that is linking uh, Excel files to PDF in Bluebeam Review 2018. Thank you very much for watching.